everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share this post to everyone that you know, including your ex-girlfriend and your ex-boyfriend if you want to piss them off. Let, let it be an icebreaker to be like, what is this? Whoa, boy, it's Ivorian Spice, you know, Red United TV. You should be more like him. Ladies, tell that to your ex. And today is Everton 1, Manchester United 3. The heat has turned down on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer today. Manchester United winning 3-1 today, collecting the three points, moving up to 13th in the Premier League. But let's just be happy for him for today. For those who want Oli out, I know that it's just buying him time and you're probably pissed off right now. You're thinking that, God damn it, why didn't we lose today so he can get the sack? And those who are Oli in, you're going you're probably going to be like, yeah, I told you he's good enough. Look at him now. He just beat Everton 3-1. The team that everyone was talking about, probably potentially winning the league, Manchester United have just been the 3-1. Oh, I'll tell you guys right now. If you think like that, you are a fool. Because at the end of the day, it's just for now. It's just for today. Yeah. The, let him buy some time for now. Hopefully, hopefully the board realise that we need to move on. It, although we've won 3 1, let it not disguise what's happened throughout the 100 games of Ole Gunnar Social Reign. Let's not let that be disguised. Let's not forget that it has been up and down like a roller coaster. So for me, we still need a change right now during the international break. You may think I'm probably heartless or I'm quite negative, but I don't care. I want the best for Manchester United. And so do you guys. You all want the best for Manchester United. Although I was happy with the win today, part of me wanted us to lose. I will be honest with you guys. I'll be very honest with you guys. I wanted us to lose so he can get his ass fired. I just want the best for Manchester United. And let's go straight into that game, guys. Oh, that first couple of minutes where you thought everything looked okay until Bernard made it 1-0. At that very moment there, I thought Oli out was just written on Twitter, probably trending right now. And you can see Edward was sitting on the ground. Again, my brother, stop wearing that mask. Stop breathing your COVID breath on that Manchester United crest because you're wearing that mask. Wear a plain mask so there was no Manchester United because you clearly are giving us the COVID virus. You definitely are giving us a virus. You are a plague. So, Mr. Edward, Wood, even though you saw that today, let it not fool you. We may have won 3 1, but throughout that whole 90 minutes, there was a bit of, you know, Lack of structure in terms of attack and play. Of course, Oli gonna freestyle as always because Oli was always gonna freestyle. So like, let that not disguise you. So he was one nil down. We was one nil down, and I, at that moment though, I was like, shit, man. Oli, one more time, like again, like definitely you're out, you're out, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone at the end of the ninety minutes. But then we made it one one with Bruno Fernandez scoring a fantastic header. Luke Shaw with the assist. Again, he's got. It's back-to-back -back assist for Luke Shaw. But we need to see more of that, Luke. You have been missing all the time, Luke. You've always been unsure about things, as whether to cross the ball, whether to shoot, whether to pass, whether to go forward, whether I should, you know, hold myself back. Or should I, should I stop being half-hearted, especially when it comes to attack? But today, you was quite sure of yourself. And you gave it that cross. You gave it that cross with Bruno Fernandes with that delightful header straight into the bottom corner of the net, making it 1-1. And then, 2-1 for Manchester United, where there was confusion whether Marcus Rashford has headed the ball. But it looked like, to me, it was another goal by Bruno Fernandes. Couldn't do wrong today. Even though he's lost the ball, took shots for no damn reasons, he done pretty well. And if it does go down for Marcus Rashford goal, it will be a Bruno Fernandes assist. But then again, it will be two goals for Bruno Fernandes today. So we went into halftime, Manchester United leading 2-1. At that time there, you're thinking, okay, well, it looks like we might win or we might draw. Let's see what the second half unfolds. And the second half wasn't that great. Wasn't that great. Pretty much a bit boring. Boring 
Seeing whether we're going to score another goal or whether we will concede making it 2-2 for Everton. Everton was looking a bit dangerous in that second half, especially in the final third and in the final final closing minutes. And Manchester United, as always, the best thing we can do, counter-attack, because we are a counter-attacking football team. We are a bona fide counter-attacking football team. And we did our best today with Bruno Fernandes with another assist. With another assist, slipping in Cavani. Cavani scoring his first goal, and it's good for him, good for his confidence. Scoring his first goal with Manchester United winning 3-1. Overall, guys, my overall opinion today is that, of course, we got the three points. I'm glad to get the three points. Some of us didn't want to get any points. Some of us wanted zero points. No points. No points. Nothing. Nothing at all today. So this guy can get the second because, of course, majority of Manchester United fans, if it's 50% or 60, 70, I'm hoping it is, are fed up. And I'm hoping that Edward would grow some cojones and bulls to sack the guy. Because my brother Oli, you need to go. And like my brother Claude said, it's time to go. It's really time to go. But we can relax, go into the international break. Manchester United sitting 13th again. The worst start of the season we've had in a very long time, guys. In a very long time. And let's just say, my man in the match today... You know it has to be Bruno Fernandes, guys. He was fantastic. Two assists or two goals, if you must say, and one assist. And we're still debatable right now, but I truly believe he scored two goals and one assist. He was instrumental. He was the leader today. Harry Maguire, not there. Not there as always. Lacking in leadership, especially in that first goal. My donkey of the match today... The most least effective player today would well, probably have to be Juan Mata. And I'm wondering where was Mason Greenwood. But then again, I can understand that Oli is under pressure and he's always going to play Juan Mata because Juan Mata, at the end of the day, respects him. He's one of those players that respect him. And Oli did make sure that he gave him some, some bread in his pocket and gave him a contract. Manchester United fans, if you are with me right now, you want this guy to get sat during international break and bring him Poch or... Nagelsmann or Ten Hagen but at the end of the day this may not happen like I said before the Heat has probably turned down on Oli's arse and Woodward's probably thinking telling his boys I told you I don't have to sack him bruv you have to sack him you gotta sack him you move soft when it comes to sacking people why are we that we behave like a small club moving half hearted and sacking the guy you know playing sack him I won't sack him not with petals. What's going on? Like, she loves me, she loves me not. What's going on, bro? Just sack the guy. Stop wasting time. But Manchester United fans, it's been a decent week for us with a loss and a win. It's mixed. It's mixed feelings right now. But yeah, again, it is time. It's time, like Bruce Broffers always says, for him to go. It's time for him to go. And guys, as always, it was wonderful. And guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. We have finally reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm pretty much pleased and happy. Yes, I've worked so hard. So it started this show, started this whole thing last year. And now we have reached 1,000. We continue going. We continue going. And guys, remember to follow the official Instagram page of Red United, which is Red United TV one and also my, my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorin underscore Spice. Same for the Twitter. Remember, guys, as always, keep it united. And remember to keep it Red United. I'm out. Peace out.